Good morning to everybody. Good morning to those who are attending, watching this meeting by streaming, via streaming. I would like to say that on behalf of the Rio de Janeiro State University, I want to express my deepest gratitude to the Brazilian Academy of Science, ABC, and the Nobel Prize Outreach for the privilege of hosting the Nobel Prize Dialogue in Rio de Janeiro 20, 2024 at our university. I'm particularly grateful to the president of ABC, Professor Eliana Nader, for the honor of welcoming the Nobel Prize Eagle, Serge Aruch, May Britt Moser, and David Macmillan. Our, your presence here will be very, very appreciated. As producers of knowledge and innovation, universities bear the responsibility for sharing and shaping a more equitable and sustainable world. Universities are not just academic institutions, but they also incentivize change, driving actions and strategies to combat social inequalities and to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We are in agreement that this event marks a step forward in our collective journey to find answers to the profound question posed by you at the site related to these events. Science will inevitably help shape our future, but how does science benefit society and how should society get the best from science? This event promises to a space for transformation and discussions and insights. Our country has high rates of social inequalities, but we are certainly doing our part in building paths to change this reality. At Rio de Janeiro State University, we have implemented various initiatives to increase access to education, particularly for underprivileged students. We are very happy to multiply our commitment to working for more students to have the chance to enter and remain at the university and become scientists in defense of a better world. The university will always be open to everyone who works for science, education, health, culture, and the arts. Our unwavering commitment is to build a society of rights where every individual, regardless social class, gender, race, religion, or age, feels included and truly valued. I wish you an excellent meeting, and I would like to say very well very good to be here and also welcome to everybody. I, I'm very proud to be at the university here and to receive all of you for no Nobel Prize Dialogue. Thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to the ones that are watching us. This Nobel Prize dialogue is a result of a partnership between the Brazilian Academy of Science and the Nobel Prize Outreach. This is the first in-person meeting of this kind in Latin America and the Caribbean. In April 2021, we hold an online meeting to discuss the value of science with two Nobel laureates and students from all states from Brazil. And in October of the same year, another one with the motto, United by Science, with five laureates and eight students from 24 Latin American countries and the Caribbean. Now, thanks to the efforts of a pleiad of people who work together towards setting up this event, we are honored to welcome and thank May Britt Moser, Serge Arosh, and Dave McMillan for giving their time to discuss the theme, Building Our Future Together with Science, with the next generation represented by undergraduate graduate students, and young researchers, including representatives
from 16 Latin American and the Caribbean countries. Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Peru, Uruguay, besides Brazil. This year, Brazil is the host of the G20. The precept of the Brazilian government for the G20 is building a just world and a sustainable planet. The Brazilian Academy of Science, as organizer of the 2024 edition of the Science 20 S20, defined science for global transformation as its motto. This Nobel dialogue is part of the S20 activities. Furthermore, the fifth Brazilian National Conference of Science, Technology, and Innovation will take place in the beginning of June. And this meeting of the Nobel is part of the conference, representing one of the events dedicated to youth. These debates will contribute to the Youth Recommendations Report for, for the fifth National Science, Technology, and Innovation Conference. I want to thank my good friend, the rector of UERJ, Professor Gunnar, for giving us this hospitality. And in her name, all of the members of this community. And also the city of Rio de Janeiro, the government of the city of Rio de Janeiro, for the efforts on helping us setting up this event. Finally, I want to thank FINEPI for the financial support. And each one of you for participating in this most relevant event that addresses our future together with science in order to achieve the 17 sustainable development goals of the 23rd agenda. Building our future together with science is fundamental to make informed decisions that shape well-being of our citizens, drive economic prosperity, and contribute to global social and environmental sustainability. Thank you so much. Your Excellencies, Nobel Prize laureates, speakers, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, let me again welcome you to the Nobel Prize Dialogue, starting here in Rio today and continuing in Sao Paulo on Wednesday. My name is Rika Lander, I'm the director of the Nobel Prize Museum, also representing the Nobel Foundation here today. We will spend the day talking about how science benefits society and, I hope, how it could benefit society even more than it does. And as you know, the Nobel Prize is named after the inventor and entrepreneur Alfred Nobel, a person that was convinced that we can shape our future if we put our trust in science and also see the beauty in the combination of natural sciences, art and literature, politics and peace work. And we that work with the outreach activities of the Nobel Prize, we know that the, the prize and the achievements of the laureates are of great inspiration to people all over the world, of all ages, and that's why we facilitate these kinds of dialogues to uh, inspire all of you to stay curious and uh, remain having uh, an open and yet critical mind. Many of you here today are students and from Brazil, but also as mentioned from many other countries in the region, I think, I think 14, which is, uh, we love to have you in as, as an audience, but not just that, you are really important. The Nobel Prize laureates emphasize again and again that the, science, the future of science lays in your hands. So we're really happy about being able to do this event together with the Brazilian Academy of Sciences, uh, we have a very good cooperation for several years now, and that would not have been possible, wouldn't have been for the support of Helena Nader, uh, 
Marcos Cortesau, Vitor Vieira, and the entire team from ABC. So thank you very much. Let me also give a special thanks again to uh, Rio de Janeiro State University and Rector Gulnar Azevedo e Silva for providing this fantastic venue. Nobel Prize Dialogue in Rio and Sao Paulo 2024 is also organized with the support of the Nobel Prize International Partners, 3M, ABB, Capgemini, EQT, H2 Green Steel, and Scania. Thank you for making it possible, and also thanks to event partner Klabin. Finally, a special thanks to the Embassy of Sweden in Brazil, the General Consulate in both Rio and Sao Paulo, and the Swedish Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. Yeah.